So in all these spaces, women that were iOS developers, women that were Unix administrators, women that uh, were cloud architects. I just said, you know, people are saying, where are the women who code? Where are the developers? I'm like, they're, they're here. We just don't know who they are. They're not in the forefront. I've taken my company to the point where we're a little bit over a million dollars in revenue. Only now am I hitting the wall of like, I need to go raise capital. And the only reason why I want to raise capital is not to wear a badge of honor, but to change the world. Give with the intent to grow, always. It doesn't matter if you're going to receive something back, like it doesn't matter if they're going to be helpful, but always be giving because that will then, you know, return to you. If you had asked me just three years ago if I could see myself working for a tech company like Google, the answer would have been no. And that's even with 18 years of experience that I brought walking into the door, having worked for President Obama, and received all of these accolades. And so that's a little bit about what I wanted to talk with you about this morning. Um, not only having the educational background, but the wherewithal required uh, to not only get in the road, but to accelerate our careers and progress once we do. It, it exceeded my expectations. The diversity of women and different careers, different fields, and the longevity that they've had in this in their profession um, let me know that I wasn't by myself and I made the right decision to come. Like I was saying, your technology, your book, that's you. That's who you are, right? I can't be the global head of storage of JP Morgan and if I don't know storage, mm -hmm. right? Every quarter, with every piece of my business, I have a QBR for two days where we deep dive the problem. That is where I stay current, that is where I stay fresh, and that is how I make my team accountable mm -hmm. for making sure that if you try me, I have an answer. I think for me, it was the ability or provide the opportunity to network because oftentimes you feel like you're alone and on an island, and that's not the case. The energy in the room was phenomenal. And you know, just to be, start on such a great high with a lot of people you don't necessarily know, and then as the day progresses, you get to know people one-on-one, -on -one. it, it was awesome. Because we all know technology drives economies, and this therefore raises the standard of living for the people. And I believe this ultimately is what I was born to do, that the experience with IBM and all of my experiences as a trailblazer was to prepare me to do this, right? So that when the funds are raised, it will be put back into the communities in this country and on the continent of Africa to raise a group of people, to raise the standard of living of billions of people worldwide. So it is fitting and appropriate that therefore the city of Philadelphia officially recognize with this citation that today is Hugh Tech Summit, signed by Mayor James F. Kenney on May 4th, 2018.